the magical white continent of Antarctica. It's a vast, untamed wilderness with the giant ice shelves and rugged mountains and abundant marine wildlife. It is even more magical than I could ever have imagined. It is the coldest, windiest, highest and driest continent on the planet. But somehow those brutal elements make for a raw beauty that is just beyond compare. It is just such a privilege to be here. From the southernmost city of the world, Ushuaia, we've cruised through the Drake Passage all the way to the world's seventh continent. And thanks to our incredible Discovery yacht, Scenic Eclipse, the journey has been nothing less than luxurious. This is my veranda suite. It's the entry level accommodation on board and its king size bed is just one of this room's many luxuries. Being at sea invokes images of cramped cabins and confined spaces, but these scenic suites are anything but. They are as luxurious and spacious as any of the finest hotels in the world. But there are no hotels anywhere in the world that can offer an ever-changing view like this. We've arrived in a place called Paradise Harbour. And for us guests, it really is the icy paradise of our dreams. Wow, waking up to this, there's nothing like it. It's just a grand sculpture garden with the elements as the artist. It's, it's incredible. So Sam, you're in your element here. Absolutely. When you're down here, you can see bergs that calved off before I was born and are still floating around in this incredibly cold water. The size and the, the colors, the infinite number of shapes and arches. I've never seen anything like it anywhere else in my life. Do you have names for all of these shapes and sizes and forms of ice? Those massive tabletop bergs, those are uh, tabular icebergs, and those don't exist anywhere else on Earth. Then you have some of the things that we're surrounded by, which are called growlers, which are just a small version of an iceberg, basically. When you look out there and you see the variety, it's pretty amazing. If anyone were to ask me, what's the single most amazing thing you've ever seen, I wouldn't have to think about it at all. Most incredible spot on Earth. Heading south to our next stunning destination, what's impressed me about my time traveling on scenic eclipse is that despite this gorgeous but somewhat harsh environment, time on board has been incredibly comfortable. The ship is built with Antarctica in mind. Mm -hmm. It's uh, ice strengthened, so we don't worry about uh, going into the ice. From the technology side, they give us a lot of power. So this gives the ship amazing ability to maneuver for example, in, in the propulsion. They give us these extra oversized stabilizers. So that's why it's so comfortable and so nice and easy to go to these most remote areas in the world, in, in ultra luxury, I may say. And this scenic eclipse is a luxury. Our next secluded destination has an almost mystical appeal. With its incredibly calm waters and gentle snowfall, we're in a place called Sierva Cove right now, which is an indentation on the mainland, on the Antarctic continent. It's essentially a big bay with arms reaching out into the Gerlach Strait. That's why it's so nice and sheltered in yeah. here. Wow, beautiful. You can see on the surface of the water, is that the, the water turning into ice? Very slowly, yeah. It's a bit of a gradual process. When you have calm weather like this for a few days, then you get the conditions where the ocean can start to freeze over, and that's what you'd expect to see this time of year. And so in now, another few weeks, would this all start to congeal? Generally, yeah. So you'd, especially in the bays, in the backs of the bays like we are now. If we came back this time next year, would, would this all change, or would they be pretty much the same? Oh, no, it changes completely. Even from now to next week, it's going to look completely different. Mm. So you get one windy day, all of this gets blown out, mm. then moves around, and then you might get different ice blown back in the next day. So completely impermanent, it changes mm. all the time. 
And then there's the wildlife, ready to delight you at every turn, like this lone penguin seeking some downtime. So breeding season's over, probably doesn't have a chick left to feed anymore. So at that point, there's no reason to return to the colony. Just enjoying the solitude. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Welcome back to the white wonderland of Antarctica and to our ultra-luxury cruise within this wondrous continent aboard Scenic Eclipse. From blue sky days to wild winds and flurries of snow, the unpredictable weather is all part of the grand adventure. So uh, how does this weather rate? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, this is pretty chilly, so we've got strong winds today. We are coming to the end of the season, but this is what Antarctica is all about. It doesn't mean that every day is going to be like this. We tend to have the weather moving in, in storm cells. So in between that, we'll have nice calm conditions. This is Antarctica in summer, a somewhat stark reminder of why there's no permanent residence on this icy continent. Even the penguins are huddling up, Together? but they're quite well adapted to this. They just turn their back into the wind, and stay warm. While Mickelson Harbour is now a refuge for Gentoo penguins, scattered remnants also reveal a very different past. Is this the remains of a whaling station here? Yeah, so in many of the areas where there's a harbour, and this is a harbour, so it's protected, believe it or not, a lot of whaling ships would come in here and they would do whaling on the island. At the end of the whaling era, they just abandoned the boats. It gives us a real appreciation for the conditions that, that they, were, they were operating in. So to have a landing like this, which is windy and snowy, well, it just gives us a real taste of Antarctica. Back on board Scenic Eclipse, and I'm about to go from a taste of Antarctica straight to the main course. I'm in the middle of a snow flurry. I'm in Antarctica. The water's minus one degrees, and I'm about to take a dip. Yes, it's it. Yes, it is. <laughs> the polar plunge is a rite of passage for brave Antarctic guests willing to jump into the icy waters. And surprisingly, it's proving to be a very popular activity. Until nature puts the event on hold for the very best possible reason. Well, we're all here waiting for our polar plunge and look who decided to turn up and just put on a show. It's incredible. Cheers. So while the polar plunge is on pause, us guests have a front row seat to the ever curious minke whales mingling around us. About 90% of minke encounters, you'll see it blow once or twice and you never see it again. And about one in 10, they come to you and they look at all the zodiacs. You can see them looking you in the eye. I'm not sure what it is that makes them inquisitive, but uh, it brings me a bit of joy to see whales wanting to interact with humans when we've hunted them for centuries and, and now that relationship has changed and it's really beautiful to see that that has changed. Has this ever happened before? I've done over 50 trips and I've seen whales swim by the marina before during the polar plunge, but never with this a level of curiosity to want to come and look at us while we're looking at them. It's a soul restoring and completely magical experience. After giving us the wildlife encounter of our dreams, the minkies move on. Okay, the whales have gone. I've got no more excuses. Well, there we go. Right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Okay, that was uh, electrifying. Highly recommend it. Join scenic eclipse on an ultra luxury expedition voyage. Experience a journey of a lifetime with all meals, beverages, and discovery excursions included. Secure your 2024 or 2025 voyage to discover Antarctica, South Georgia, and the Falkland Islands. Save up to $4,500 per person, plus receive a suite upgrade on select itineraries. Getaway viewers can save an additional $300 per person. To request your voucher, visit scenic.com.au forward slash getaway. Call 1-300-790-372 or speak to your nearest travel advisor. This magical wonderland is the Antarctic Peninsula. It's the northernmost part of the Antarctic mainland, with some peaks towering to over two and a half thousand meters. 80% of this stunning landscape is ice covered. And with scenic, there's endless options how best to enjoy it. From the two onboard helicopters, to daily zodiac explorations, kayaking tours, and even stand up paddle boards, which is what I've chosen for this morning. This is the first time I've ever been paddle boarding. And I can't believe it, I'm doing it in the Antarctic. This is so surreal. We're in Planal Bay, which is absolutely teeming with wildlife. And thankfully, these paddle boards are incredibly stable and easy to maneuver. Scenic has also fully kitted us out with a dry suit and we have a Zodiac guide to keep constant watch because we're hoping to get up close and personal with another minke whale. So if we hang out here for a couple minutes, it may come and check us out. Minkies are very curious. I hear the whale over there somewhere. Maybe it's just, is it round the front? Oh my, yes! Wow. Hey, big Did boy. you hear it? Come on back up. <gasps> I cannot believe it. The minky whale just breached in front of us. It's like, unbelievable. It's just, I mean, I'm gonna cry. Looks like he's coming this direction, so just keep an eye. And unbelievably, it actually got better. <gasps> oh, yeah. there it is. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, there you oh, are. Oh, wow. They're well fed oh, and they're very curious. Oh. This is dreams coming true. Oh, you're not kidding. That was epic. To see a whale like at its own level, it's incredible. There it is again. Wow. Having a front row seat to nature means anything can turn up around the bend, including seeing my first leopard seal. Wow. Uh, he's just uh, settling down for a long summer's nap. This is uh, an animal that we pay a lot of attention to. Pretty unpredictable, but he's chill on ice. He seems okay with us, so we're good. If he was in the water, however, started to show any curiosity towards us, yep. we would then immediately exit the water. Right. I feel like I want to leave him alone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We wouldn't want to mess with All him. All respect with him. Serious predator. Pretty cool to uh, to have the ability to see them from this perspective. Yeah. After a magical morning on the water, we're back on board the ultra luxury of scenic eclipse. Well, I've never really been a great hot tub fan, but when you get to soak in all of this while soaking in this, what's not to like? It's hard to believe that in one of the most remote locations on Earth, how are you? It's possible to also experience this level of indulgence. With a maximum of 200 guests in Antarctica, it's also a wonderfully intimate experience. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Chef's Table. For this fish, we are using a thin grid Wagyu beef ragu. Well, this is the pinnacle of dining on board, an 11-course degustation menu, cleverly designed to delight and to surprise. 
Chef's table is one of up to 10 culinary offerings on board. And if you're lucky enough to get an invite, it's certainly one you don't want to pass up. It's a work of art. It's almost a shame to dig in, but here I go. This is a next level dining experience. Mm. So far on our Antarctic trip, we've visited a number of truly exotic and simply exquisite locations. But one of the many advantages of being a guest on Scenic Eclipse is that it's very much a discovery yacht. If we come from the southwest, then we can look at all the potential sites here. The ship's captain and discovery leader are in constant communication, searching for the most interesting and breathtaking locations possible. We are monitoring weather forecast, ice forecast every single day and adjusting our possible places to visit. So we do have a plan. Initially we go, yeah, we go to Antarctica. Once we approach these places, then we assess at, at the site. And the guests must appreciate that. Absolutely, and they feel like they are in, in real discovery, which actually the scenic eclipse is. So they really participate. It's another level of experience for our guests. And so it is that we find ourselves in the stunning South Orkney Islands, located halfway between the Antarctic Peninsula and South Georgia. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, this is a first, <laughs> setting foot on the South Orkney Islands. This remarkable archipelago is a patchwork of ice-capped mountains, vegetation and icebergs, all existing side by side on a coastline that's nothing short of spectacular. So is this a first for you, coming on this island? This is a first for me. I've never been to the South Orkney Islands before, and neither has the scenic eclipse. So we've gone into full exploratory mode, just looking at a totally new island, which is always a really special feeling. This group of islands is home to a variety of wildlife, including this lively colony of fur seals. Uh, these are the males, so this beach is full of male fur seals, just short of their prime still, but in a couple of years these will be beach masters. This is outside the breeding season, but come the breeding season, they'll be fighting it out for the females. There's a lot of jostling going on here, is this kind of a preempting hierarchy? This is establishing your skills as well, this is learning how to fight, learning how to defend your territory because fur seals have very small territories, just a few meters square on the beach, and they establish a small harem in that. And as soon as someone breaches that, there's gonna be a fight. So there's a lot of tussling. A lot of it is bluffing, but you do get some pretty serious fights every now and again as well. Inland, the South Orkneys are a much more surreal experience. It's a vast, moss-covered landscape different to anything I've experienced before. After a memorable shore excursion, we've got an afternoon Zodiac cruise, giving us a closer view of the prolific wildlife. So look yeah. at all these um, albatross here, are these skuas and... So these are, these are all mostly giant petrels. Giant the small petrels. birds dancing around with them are the Wilson storm petrel. Oh, lovely. I'm getting wind of a colony of some sort. It's definitely some penguin wish there, yeah. 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 <laughs> so how many do you reckon there is in this breeding colony? A good few thousand of this. Yeah. It's, a, it's a decent size, yeah. And they're breeding all the way up to the top up there? Yeah, believe it or not, those sites right at the top, that's prime real estate for penguins. Beginning of the season, when they first come back, there's a lot of snow here, mm -hmm. and you've got to have nice free sites, so no snow to lay your egg. Mm -hmm. So they're actually the top slopes are the first ones to get cleared of the snow. So that's where you put your eggs. And where the penguins are plentiful, you'll often find their feared predators. Poor little penguins, they're like sitting ducks. <laughs> they I think they're actually shaking. So that leopard seal's just, just corralling, just hanging around. Yeah, so they, they probably know he's in the water or she's in the water and, and the seal knows they're up on the rock. So yeah, they're gonna wait there and hopefully bide their time and uh, Maybe wow. it'll lose interest. Yeah, I, I doubt it. <laughs> <No. laughs> it's looking pretty persistent. So at this time of year, there's a lot of the young penguins that are just, it's their first time in the right. water. They're not, yeah. they're not very agile, so they're, they're easy pickings for a leopard yeah. seal, unfortunately. Yeah. 
This wild and wonderful part of the world brings so many surreal moments. Every single day of the cruise is packed with highlights, often unexpected, but always amazing. Well, this is my first time on the seventh continent, and I desperately hope it's not going to be my last. There's nothing like it, opening up your door in the morning, seeing penguins swimming by, icebergs floating in the distance. It goes beyond travel into the realm of a profound experience, and I just can't get enough of it. Join Scenic Eclipse on an ultra-luxury expedition voyage. Experience a journey of a lifetime with all meals, beverages and discovery excursions included. Secure your 2024 or 2025 voyage to discover Antarctica, South Georgia and the Falkland Islands. Save up to $4,500 per person, plus receive a suite upgrade on select itineraries. Getaway viewers can save an additional $300 per person. To request your voucher, visit scenic.com.au forward slash getaway. Call 1300 790 372 or speak to your nearest travel advisor. Thanks for traveling with me this evening. Next week, my journey continues. Welcome to South Georgia. This really is the adventure of my dreams. It's a photographer's paradise. I can't stop taking photos. I could be here all day. See you then. Good night.